Police have released CCTV vision of a man they wish to speak to after an armed robbery in Wall's End last week. Late on Tuesday night, a man armed with a knife entered a service station and threatened an employee before stealing cash and cigarettes. Anyone with information is urged to come forward. A man's faced court charged with threatening a Coles employee with a syringe. Just before 1.30 this morning, police say the 23-year-old entered the Market Town supermarket and threatened the woman, demanding cash and cigarettes. Around two hours later, it's alleged the same man smashed the front window of a jewellery shop at the junction and took several pieces of jewellery. He'll reappear before the court at a later date. A shed fire at the old National Park Bowling Club is being treated as suspicious. Fire crews responded to reports of a fire just before 7 o'clock. Despite being quickly extinguished, greenkeeping equipment inside was destroyed. It follows a blaze there in April. Last year, the council-owned land was earmarked as a site for an indoor sporting complex. Hunter Valley bus drivers say it's only a matter of time before reckless behaviour turns fatal. It follows a string of attacks by young people on drivers and their vehicles. Reporter Talia Sav explains. This bus stop here at Rutherford's West Mall is one of two bus drivers now refused to service after a spate of dangerous incidents. There's uh, rock throwing attacks at the buses while they're moving. There's rock throwing at the drivers young uh, kids riding on the moving buses uh, and worse still trying to activate uh, a safety switch which opens the doors and locks the brakes of a moving bus. The transport union says drivers are fearing for their lives and the safety of others with kids from as young as 10 joining in on the violent acts. While the bus company has volunteered to put on extra private security from 2pm to 11pm each weekday, there's urgent calls for the state government to step in. These situations are getting worse, not better. Uh, we need training for drivers to be able to deal with violent offenders uh, and uh, more security and more penalties. Every person in this state should turn up to work in a safe environment. These drivers aren't. As a result, there are now interim measures in place under the law catches up to the individuals concerned. In the meantime, the union says drivers are working to ensure the Rutherford route bans cause the least amount of disruption for commuters. A date is still to be set on the controversial closure of a key road between the town of Bolga and Walkworth coal mine. Wallaby Scrub Road is in the process of being prepared for sale by Singleton Council to the mining company following recent approval by the Department of Industry. In making its determination to, to support the closure road, Council considered a whole range of factors and on balance decided and determined that uh, the closure of the road was appropriate. Locals say they'll challenge the move. One in three Australian women has experienced domestic violence. It's a statistic Hunter Charity Got Your Back Sister is working to change. And it has support from some of the toughest men in town. While quiet today, next Saturday, the night's home ground will be buzzing. The side faces the Titans, but our local boys will be out to achieve more than victory. Domestic violence isn't a normal thing and it's something that, you know, um, needs to be highlighted in our society. Charity Got Your Back Sister is enlisting the community to be part of its movement against domestic and family violence. It's encouraging hundreds of people to take to the field at half time in a show of support for those experiencing violence, while at the same time condemning the scourge on our society. We need to do something about it and we need to do that in a very, very public way because at the end of the day we want it to stop. It's the initiative's second year and it's being backed right across the Hunter. Anything that raises awareness of domestic violence is a good thing. Uh, certainly as clubs, we have a large membership across the region and anything we can do to leverage off that to raise awareness is important. If you'd like to take part, head to the Got Your Back Sister Facebook page. All you need to do is make a $20 donation to Got Your Back Sister. That will get you the T-shirt to wear and come and join us on the field and just get your ticket to the game. Emma Murphy, NBN News. Next. The brother of murdered Australian woman Cecilia Haddad tells how he'll secure justice. Back yourself with Labrooks in Game 3 of State of Origin. Place a first try score a bet, and if your player doesn't get the first try, but crosses for the second, we'll still pay you out as a winner. Labrooks back.
like yourself. It's Christmas in July at Domain, home of the big brands with 50 months interest free. Update to the latest computers and technology, home appliances, entertainment and more. With 50 months interest free store wide, treat yourself this Christmas in July at Domain. <laughs> Using nothing but tap water and the deep clean power of steam, the conscious steam cleaner heats up in as little as 30 seconds and kills 99.99% of common household bacteria with no chemicals or scrubbing. The conscious steam cleaner. Check out our five-star customer reviews online. Super Temple Rose Mid-Year Sale is on now with 50% off SCA single sheets density covers just $28.98 each plus 25% off the armor all detailing and accessories range and 25% off car audio speakers. Yeah. Oh, Two incomes, three shareholdings, four dependents, one accountant. And I just got biology teacher Dave enough tax back to buy this thing. At H&R Block we're fascinated by numbers. Book an appointment today. Find out how Maywell can help your business today. We do assembly for industry, timber products, scanning, and confidential document destruction. Let us save you time with product assembly, mail outs, promotional material, and more. Visit www.maywell.com.au or call 49328599. Hey, yes, every day at the good guys, and here's how. Get this high since 272 litre top mount fridge for a low $433. And this Amiga freestanding dishwasher for only $398. Hey, less, every day at the good guys. I'm not calling. Hey, you got a scout. Hello, Amy. We're a little bit stuck. Whereabouts? We're, we're in the middle of whoop whoop. Oh, oh, we're, uh, we're right up on... OMG, Dad, up, freak. Did Dad say... I'm talking. This list option is Australia-wide with unlimited call-outs 24-7. That's not very insurancy. Corolla Toyota's mighty new Toyota Marathon is on. Corolla Sports Auto Hatch sacrificed. Now just 21 triple eight drive away. Plus a grand in free fuel on Hilux, Rapport, Prado and more. This Saturday, Sunday, only at Corolla Toyota. It's Christmas in July at Domain. Home of the big brands with 50 months interest free. Update to the latest computers and technology, home appliances, entertainment and more. With 50 months interest free store wide, treat yourself this Christmas in July at Domain. <laughs> The brother of Sydney murder victim Cecilia Haddad is turning his grief into passion to see justice for his lost sister. Joao Haddad has spoken for the first time since Cecilia was allegedly killed by her ex-boyfriend and says he's doing it to hopefully speed up the case. He's the big brother who had to say goodbye to his little sister far too soon. She adored living in Australia. She adored the Australian people. Joao Haddad and his sister Cecilia were close. Her brutal Sydney murder has left a family in her Brazilian hometown of Rio de Janeiro devastated. It's a brutal crime, executed in a very cold, calculated and horrible way that no one deserves, especially a sweet girl as Cecilia. Yeah. Zhao is speaking publicly for the first time, focused on getting that crucial evidence from Australian detectives over to Brazil quickly to strengthen the case against Cecilia's alleged killer. How would you like Australia to help? It's important to bring the evidence that has been collected in Australia to reinforce our criminal case in Rio. This morning, heading to his new home behind bars. Mr Santoro, what do you have to say to Cecilia's family? Marcelo Santoro, in cuffs with another accused killer through a crush of Brazilian and Australian media to a waiting prison van. Did you do it, Mr Santoro? That's the question.
question he wouldn't answer to police. So now Santoro is in prison awaiting trial. It's alleged he strangled Cecilia to death and dumped her body in the Lane Cove River after she tried to break up with him. When Marcelo Santoro faces trial, he'll be sitting here in the Rio de Janeiro Criminal Court. The evidence against him will be judged by seven jurors. They'll be sitting right here and they need to reach a unanimous decision to convict. If there's a guilty verdict, the judge sitting right here will have the final say on just how long Santoro will spend behind bars. The Haddad family say they felt no relief when Santoro was caught. They know the legal process is a slow one, but are thankful for the work Australian detectives have done so far. Lizzie Pearl, NBN News. The Listeria scare that's forced the recall of 10 frozen vegetable products may already have claimed a life. It's thought a Victorian man who died in February had the same strain of the bug that's being investigated. At the time, it was thought to be an isolated incident. A ski instructor accused of a horrific attack on two tourists in the Snowy Mountains is behind bars tonight after his bail was refused. The 28-year-old British national has been charged with a range of offences, including sexual assault and grievous bodily harm. The snowy slopes of Perisher were his playground, and this is the man police allege is responsible for the savage sexual and physical assault of two young holiday makers. Today, Matthew Williams remained in the cells beneath Queenbean Court, leaving his lawyer to do the talking. How is he feeling in custody? That's all I have for now. There was no application for bail, and it was formally refused. I spoke to him this morning. We've got uh, nothing more to add at this stage. Um, the matter will come back to court in a couple of weeks. The British ski instructor's supporters left in silence. Do you have anything to say on behalf of Matthew Williams? Nothing to say at all? The 28-year-old now charged with a string of offences, including sexual assault and grievous bodily harm. Police will allege he spotted the friends at this pub and followed them home before knocking the 25-year-old male victim unconscious and raping the 22-year-old female. Surveillance images, witness statements and clothing seized from within the 28-year-old's apartment will now form part of the brief of evidence. Police requested bail be refused. Detectives say the victims still fear for their safety. Early Walsh, NBN News. Well, Origin 3 is just over an hour away and we're joined by Mitch Hughes. And Mitch, it's only pride on the line for Queensland. It certainly is, team. Not long now till we find out the result. Plenty to play for for the Maroons, while the Blues can claim their first clean sweep in 18 years. Blues fans have spent the day in Brisbane soaking up the series win, some perhaps a little too much. Usually on Origin morning in Bris Vegas, the two heads jam a city park to cop a free snag and a t-shirt. Not today, oh fractious joy. I decided to crank it up to 11 via a big screen opposite Brisbane Town Hall. And now, the blue one. <laughs> they weren't happy. The blues, the glories. <laughs> you need to take it down. No, no mate, I'm ramping it up, brother. <laughs> oh, That's the line, mate. Good on you. Buddy, how are you, how are you, mate? Usually, the malls of Brizzy at chockers with maroon jerseys. Not today, but there was plenty, plenty blue. It's good to see the momentum oh, change. Oh, and, oh, 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 hello, hello. Hey, mate, two zip. Two zip, brother. Two zip. What, what two zip. Mate, keep walking. The Queenslanders did try to muster some enthusiasm for their best-dressed bus competition, but we cleaned up there as well. 